Inside the Uffizi Gallery in Italy, we are greeted by the Venus of Urbino made during the Venetian High Renaissance. This is made by one of the most popular painters of this era, named Titian. Duke Urbino Guidobaldo II commissioned this piece of art for his young wife to show the value she would provide of eroticism, fidelity, and motherhood. Titian would finish this piece in 1538 and created it not to be seen privately, but to be seen by many people. The style of the painting, a woman lying with her nude body pointed toward the viewer, is based on Giorgione's image called Sleeping Venus. The similarities between this and Giorgione's art is clearly apparent. Titian's art skyrocketed the style of the lying nude in all of Renaissance art. The Venus of Urbino features Venus, the Greek goddess who encompasses love, beauty, and fertility, lying nude with her body positioned toward the viewer in a lustful position. Looking at her face, her eyes are locked straight at the reader which gives off a sexual emotion. Along with the pillows and sheets, she gives off a relaxed feel and helps set the mood in this piece. The voluptuous curves of Venus are meant to enhance sexuality and contrast the many straight lines of the painting. This also sacrifices the realism of Venus with the proportions meant to highlight her sexual features and leaving other features, like her feet, being hilariously small. Our eyes wander into the two scenes in the fore and background with a focus on Venus's body. The curled up dog represents fidelity and keeping a dog, especially one that is a hunting dog, is seen as a high status symbol in Renaissance art. In the background, there is a daughter rummaging through a drawer, with her mother looking down upon her. This symbolizes motherhood. Throughout this piece, a technique of glazing is used to make colors pop in the fore and background. Glazing is a technique used in conjunction with oil paint, which involves using transparent paint on top of already dried paint in order to make a shine effect. Glazing was used to make art pieces shiny and to create rarer popping colors like orange and purple, which were not readily available. This technique creates deep rich colors that contrast with the dull colors of the building and background. 